we do have at the show here, we, uh, we have some other technologies as well. Um, on our website, you'll see there's a link actually to uh, uh, some video uh, about uh, Bluefish 444. So Bluefish 444 uh, are, provide very high-end uh, I.O. cards um, with a very high bit sample rate. Uh, and what we're demonstrating here, you won't be able to see because this is a, a Sony uh, HDR monitor and uh, we're, we're filming in uh, HD 1080i. So you're not actually going to be able to see the picture quality on this, but this is, this is uh, full HDR and, and the demonstration that we have here is uh, is how we can show what the what a HDR file uh, looks like uh, ingested with Bluefish and what what uh, what you know what a, a lower quality ingest can show so um, other things from Bluefish are, are, are these uh, um, kind of uh, pro high-end uh, uh, video converters as well that uh, have a number of settings so we can we can set automatically um, Bluefish work uh, as uh, products by themselves, and, but they also uh, are, are very much involved in the OEM space. So, uh, for example, uh, Starfish that we were talking to earlier on uh, are actually a customer of Bluefish. I notice a, a lot of fishing, uh, fishing going on here, but uh, you know, so they supply a lot of the manufacturers. So you'll, see, you'll find a lot of broadcast manufactured devices actually have Bluefish cards in them, and uh, we've got uh, Craig Mott here at the show. But um, on, on our YouTube channel, uh, Ideal Systems uh, TV. Uh, there's a, a great introduction into Bluefish uh, from Craig Mott. So if you get a chance, take a look at that. Uh, Bluefish. We, we've deployed a number. We have a number of different implementations of Bluefish. And speaking of devil, as if as if by magic, a Bluefish Craig Mott appeared. Hey Craig, how are you doing? Good to see you. I, I did a real bad, uh, I did a real bad impro for Bluefish there. I'm glad you're here to save me. Oh no, that no, was fine. Perfect. Craig is very custom. Thank you, Dan. Craig is very custom at, uh, at talking about Bluefish on TV. Uh, as I said, as I referred them to your video already, mate. Oh, you know, perfect, so I was perfect. like, if, if yeah. I can't do it, Craig can do it. You yeah, know, but uh, tell us a bit about Bluefish. Uh, Bluefish 444. We're an uncompressed SDI video card manufacturer. We support. Uh, SD, HD and 4K um, uh, SDI input and output through our video card. Uh, we are the highest quality video card manufacturer uh, in the industry and that is because we have a 12-bit processing engine inside our cards. It's been developed in firmware and it's been deployed in every generation of so cards that we've ever made. You mentioned 12-bit, so what are, what, are what are the other I.O. cards doing on that? What's, what's their bit depth? Our competitors are, are processing the SDI at at, at 10 bit pixel depth. So but, the so sorry, 10 and 12 just sounds like a kind of small difference? It does, but for, uh, 12 bit processing has 4096 individual levels of red, green, and blue processing per pixel, whereas 10 bit has 1024. So that's four times the difference. So that's massive. And as actually, I'm not sure if you can get a shot up here, but we can actually, I can actually show you what the Bluefish uh, quality looks like. Uh, we're limited only by the quality of the output. That's okay. a 1080i camera. <laughs> no, no. I'm looking at this, right? All right? So we come over here, we have a look. This is a Sony uh, high dynamic range, a 4K 60p high dynamic range monitor. And this is the only 4K high dynamic range monitor anywhere here at, anywhere here at Broadcast Asia. Do, do, do Sony know this? <laughs> Uh, we purchased it. Uh, Sony probably don't know this, so I probably should be telling them. But uh, they're so hard to come by that we, uh, but we basically bought one and we ship it around with all the trade shows with us. So I'm not joking. There's tens of thousands of dollars worth of monitor here, and this is for color grading. Um, so we are, with our 12-bit processing engine, we are able to show you um, high dynamic range preview, and that's what it looks like. So I'm not sure if it's coming through on the camera, but that is pristine. And that's got a, it's got a, I think it's got a thousand nits. Nits are the uh, measure of brightness, and compared to uh, standard dynamic range, there's a, uh, there's a hundred. So that's ten times brighter. This is a ultra UHD premium. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that's what our card can do. That's an example of our card uh, playing out uh, the preview. So we're the highest quality acquisition, preview here, and master. So back to tape. What we're running here is uh, Adobe Premiere Pro but we have a lot of different partners that uh, software that works with our card. And here on the ideal stand, 
probably the biggest partner is VizRT. So the same video card that's in here running Adobe Premiere Pro and doing 4K high dynamic range, the same video card works with the Viz render engine. Which we were looking at earlier on. Looking at before. So Bluefish has three supported workflows with VizRT. We're there for virtual sets where we have a very low latency. We're there for character generation, uh, live production character generation, and we have a channel branding solution, uh, a down, downstream Kia. All working with VizRT, same cards, and another one of your partners here, Starfish, who have got uh, subtitling and ad insertion. They're also a Bluefish uh, compatible partner. And our dealer, uh, our Bluefish customer, reseller, and uh, all sorts. Our de ideal is our partner for this part of the world. Tell us a bit about the, uh, the standalone boxes. Uh, that's a good point, thank you. Uh, over here on the wall, we have a range of uh, converters. Uh, we have, uh, we have uh, an SDI to HDMI, and it's uh, uh, one uh, SDI up to 3G SDI, converting to HDMI 1.3. We have the opposite, we have uh, HDMI converting to SDI and we have analog converting to uh, SDI. Uh, high quality uh, conversions and they're made for broadcasters, they have redundancy channels where they can. So if your power fails, it switches over. And uh, Ideal have done a good job of uh, uh, installing that in one, uh, one large install. Can you give us a, a use case uh, example of what you might use that for? Uh, VizRT uh, actually the demonstrations here on your stand, uh, the SDI output from the live capture over there is being converted to HDMI and the, mo and the monitoring is done on uh, a HDMI monitor. And that's important because uh, SDI monitors are quite expensive. HDMI monitors are usually one tenth of the price. So uh, yeah, we have a high quality conversion products. Okay. What's, uh, what's in your roadmap? What's coming up? Uh, what's in our roadmap is something very interesting for this part of the world. We have, uh, not, only, not only do we have all these uh, software partners like VizRT and Starfish and Avid and Adobe and so forth, we make our own software. And we have a product called Ingestor, which is a live production tool and a multi-channel VTR digitization tool. Uh, that's getting some reasonable uh, adoption with uh, universities and people with lots of tape. We can set up, our cards have got four, four channels on them. So you can have one, two, three, four VTRs digitising simultaneously. So you just have to have a fast enough CPU to let it happen. Uh, that product also works uh, in conjunction with Avid and Adobe. And one of the most requested features in the industry for live production workflows where they're making reality TV is they want to be able to edit while they're, while they're recording. So what they do in reality TV, in the cooking shows and stuff, uh, they go to a break, they come back after the break and they do a very small recap of what the judge's expression was and, the, you know, and who got what score and et cetera, et cetera. That's a good example of editing, uh, editing while you're actually capturing. Uh, so that's in our roadmap. That's what will be coming in the next release of our product called Ingestor. So at the moment, it's uh, multi-channel VTR digitization and some live production workflows. But in our next release in June or July, you'll be able to use that uh, as a, live, a genuine live production tool. You'll be using Adobe and Avid to do the editing. Will we see it by ABC? Absolutely. All right, we, very good. We Actually, we're doing a demo of it around on our uh, stand out the front. On their other booth, yet again, yet again, fa fa main, oh, no, main, main, main and backup booth there. Uh, actually, our booth is with our other partner here, that, who you do a good job of selling, is uh, Media Proxy who have got a media logging solution. So I, should, share I, should a booth. Run, I should run over to Media Proxy. Yeah, we, we, well, yeah. we share, uh, they're another one of our software partners and uh, we share the stand here at, at, uh, at, at Broadcast Asia. Yeah, yeah. Just, to, just to give a call out for Media Proxy, uh, you know, it's a, a video, video logging, compliance logging, we, we, we do a lot of it, we, we've got over 100 channels of it running here yeah. in Singapore already and, and, and growing, you know. That's 100 Bluefish SDI inputs. Yep, the highest quality SDI inputs of media logging. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks, Craig Martin, appreciate okay. it. Good timing.